Welcome to Mastara for a lore video on a topic discussed quite a bit in relevant books, but with little actual information. We're talking about the Collegium Arcanum, the Thaetian School of Magic, the least of the great schools of magic. Why this one? Because while the Thaetians aren't hyper-focused on magic like Alphacia or Galantry, they respect it. The Arcanum, like Thaetians, is pragmatic. It gives the future wizards of the Empire enough training to make them competent, but it also focuses their lessons on practical applications. Thaetian wizards might not be sporting new spells and magic items straight after graduation. Still, none of the prospective wizards will be turning into Arcane Jacks and Pollock paintings during class either. Time to flesh out the most boring but practical magical academy in Mastara. I'm Mr. Welch, and put your wands away. The Collegium Arcanum was first mentioned in Dawn of the Emperor, given a brief description of the Thaetis city entry, including the poor wizard's almanacs, Joshuans, and several brief mentions in other second edition supplements, and even some discussion in Dragon Magazine. Nine publications mention it. So it should be one of D&D's most flesh-out magical schools, right? Well, no. All of the mentions are rehashed entries from the paragraphs in Dawn of the Emperors. Pretty much cut and paste for many of them. The Collegium was founded at the start of the Empire. It's competently run, but it's nowhere near the quality or prestige of Alphacia or Glantry. But it does graduate a large number of wizards in comparison to the other high-quality institutions. You can't just tease us with the equivalent of the Community College of Magic Schools and leave it at that. It's time to fill in the blanks where I can, with a huge amount of help from the Vaults of Pandius and Threshold Magazine. The majority of this video is fanon, so use what you want. The exact date of the Collegium's founding is a bit uncertain as there's multiple conflicting sources. The best estimate is the school was opened around 3 to 5 AC upon orders of Zentralian I, the first emperor of Thyatis. It makes sense for them to have a magical academy. Zendralian was allied with a wizard during the revolt, and Alphacia dominated the new empire for centuries with spells. Magic is a powerful tool, something that Thyatis would be negligent not to utilize. The emperor named a close ally, Dacrist Cost, to be its first headmaster, a position he would hold for many years. Many faculty members were former Alphacian wizards who changed sides during the revolt, seeing a better opportunity for themselves in the fledgling Thyatian empire. The formative years of the schools were improvised, as students were hard to find and teachers were almost all Alphacian. The Collegium copied the Alphacian School of Magic as best it could. Many of its first students were pressed into duty by Zendralian's troops. Anyone who could cast a spell was given a free education, room, board, and employment when they came of age. What they weren't given was a choice. In 20 AC, Empress Valencia assumed the throne and began to stabilize the government with reforms. Among her many changes was the codification of the operation of the Collegium Arcanum. The most significant change to the college was the leadership. The official head of the school was now the Magister Arcanum, whose participation in the actual running of the institution differed wildly over the centuries. Some ran the school like their own fiefdom, dictating what would be taught and hiring and firing professors on a whim. Others preferred a hands-off approach, giving the day-to-day -day operations to the head proctor of the Collegium Arcanum, and only getting involved if the school became a public embarrassment. Classes were clearly defined during Valencia's reformations, and students were sought out and asked nicely rather than getting pressed into service. The Empress wisely concluded that students who wanted to attend classes would serve better than those dragged through the door screaming and shackled to a desk. This led to the income level of the students being less than the Alphacian or Glantrian schools of magic. Still, the Thaetian wizards were more loyal due to the opportunities provided to them that they wouldn't otherwise have. The school's official name is the College of Licinius, after General Licinius, the leader of the Thaetian Revolt. In typical Thaetian fashion, Emperor Zendralian honored the late general by immortalizing his name. The fact that Zendralian murdered Lucinius to take the throne for himself isn't mentioned. It's widely known, but it's not mentioned in polite society. The college is a block-sized compound located in the Hart District of Thyatis City, a straight shot down from the Imperial Library. The school hosts approximately five to 700 students depending on the year, though in its past, attendance has dipped below 200 or swelled past 1,000 students due to the whims of the Magister. There is one professor for about every 40 students, each with a handful of teaching assistants of their choosing. Students start classes at the age of 13 for humans and undergo six years of schooling. While every student can use magic from day one, the students aren't taught spells until age 16. In the meantime, they are educated in history, literature, mathematics, and a heavy dose of arcane theory. While this means students are considered far behind their Alphacian and Glantrian counterparts in arcane knowledge, it also means that the Collegium Arcanum is one of the only magical universities to have a student survival rate that gets anywhere near 100%. Thyatis prefers its students to be well-educated, well-rounded, and more importantly, alive when they graduate. They don't encourage students to participate in wildly dangerous experiments to impress their professors. They actively forbid risky gambles by underage students. 
A student who ignores a professor's warnings to go on an adventure in the college alone finds himself expelled rather than praised, even if they did accomplish a heroic deed. Thaetians want people who can follow orders and work alongside others rather than a loose cannon that risks lives for their own personal glory. Unlike Glantrian or Alphatian students at their magical colleges, Thaetian students tend to be from lower class families. The Collegium Arcanium trains wizards to serve in various roles in the Empire. Classes are free, provided the students pay off their debt through public service. Wealthy wizards receive their training from tutors paid for by their family. If a bricklayer's daughter shows the ability to read magic, he wouldn't be able to afford to give her any formal training. But if she is brought to the attention of her local senator, then the college is more than happy to provide her with the education she needs. While the Collegium is scoffed at in Alphatia, in Thyatis, it's a higher school of learning and a source of pride for families sending a child there. The student lives at the Collegium are tightly controlled. They're not allowed to venture outside the school into the city without supervision, and the younger students aren't allowed to leave the school at all except on approved holidays. This is for their protection, as Thyatis City is a sprawling metropolis, and many students are from the countryside. The school itself is actually relatively safe. It has no secret dungeons, no hidden passages. The buildings are well-maintained and frequently renovated. Dangerous experiments and books of secret knowledge are kept in other, safer locations. The Collegium is located in the middle of the capital city. The professors are not providing the students with any experiments that could level a city block. A special honor guard from the 12th Legion provides security for the Collegium. They are from Port Lucinius, and they are the only unit from that normally maritime legion to serve on land. Unlike other magical colleges, there's little risk of kidnapping. The students here rarely come from noble families. A kidnapper snatching a student will find they now have the son or daughter of a common soldier or carpenter. The primary reason for the cheap education is that the students are expected to serve in the military after graduation. They are pushed that way from almost the first day, with examples of great wizards fighting for the glory of Thyatis, starting with the school's namesake, General Lucinius, being taught to them as part of their history classes. The students' education subtly adapts them to the military life, with regimented schedules, required classes, and all the control over their lives. The army needs its officers to be literate, able to calculate numbers in their head and work in high-stress environments. The College of Lucinius ensures all of its graduates excel at those skills. Like the Thaetian legions, the classes are regimented and standardized. All students are given the same classes until late in their education. Electives are assigned to students to bolster their strengths in various topics. They have to keep up their grades as failure is an option. Early classes ensure students have at least the basic knowledge expected in the Thaetian military. The Collegium is the only magic school requiring a physical education course throughout a student's studies. Thaetians take the motto, healthy body, healthy mind, to a whole new level. It's much easier to reflect on how you screwed up and why you won't repeat that mistake running laps through an obstacle course than playing broomstick lacrosse. While the students hate this particular part of their education, they're grateful years later when they can match hardened legionnaires shot for shot during a victory celebration. Alphatian wizards are detested by their troops. Thaetian wizards are seen as brother-in-arms by theirs. After three years of standard classes, then students are allowed to learn spells. The professors prefer not to teach students offensive spells until they're at least 16. The thought of 13-year-olds casting magic missile at anyone who annoys them is reason enough. The first spells taught will always be defensive or utility spells. Floating disc is a popular choice, especially with the workload and the number of books required increasing. The Collegium encourages spells that would normally be forbidden at other schools, as it allows the students to showcase their talents. While students might think they are cheating using an ESP spell to get the answer from their teacher's mind, they don't realize that he's drawing the attention of the Thaetian Imperial Intelligence who set up that test. One of the reasons that the other magical colleges look down upon the Collegium Arcanum is that it plays it safe when it comes to spells learned. This is not a research college. Students aren't creating new spells or magic items here. They are taught specific spells in a predetermined order and under close supervision. Every student graduates knowing a complete set of utility spells, a collection of defensive spells, and a handful of mundane but valuable offensive spells. You won't find a Thaetian graduate knowing any spell outside the standard spells from the main rulebook. If they want to learn exotic spells or research their own, they can do that on their own time after graduation. However, compared to wizards from other schools, they will have a well-rounded education and a host of relevant skills, allowing them to find employment in various fields, regardless of their magical knowledge. The last two years of a student's education is when they will be singled out for specialized classes. These classes are standardized like most of the other courses, but pupils who showcase talent in specific fields are selected for an enhanced focus. Most students are destined to serve as soldiers in the military, though they graduate with a full commission. 
but governmental agencies like Imperial Intelligence, diplomatic services, or even engineering schools always need magical assistance. If a student shows they excel at information gathering, diplomacy, or artificing, they will be offered additional lessons after graduation in those fields. This can lead to a life-serving thiatus in a more specialized role. Thiatians view graduates of the Collegium Arcanum like any other college. They're held in the same regard as a mathematician from the University of Biazin, a soldier from the Imperial Academy, or a horseman from the Westreach Cavalry Academy in Corindus. But among Thiatian wizards, you get a certain amount of respect from your peers if you sport a class ring from the Collegium Arcanum. That wraps up today's topic. The College of Lucinius isn't flashy. That's the point. Students are taught basic spells, but are trained to work together seamlessly. Like all other Thiatian military assets, wizards are meant to be another cog in the war machine. The Collegium ensures that the up-and-coming wizards in the Empire's Legion are precisely that. Next week, we're headed to the Shires to know the sheriffs of each of them. Until then, go Port Licinius Retarius!